Dad, we are really proud of you, Jeff. As you quit bachelorhood today and about to start a new life, we offer you this token of a new house for your wedding. <laughs> Thank you, my dad. Yeah. Thank you, my dad. <laughs> Jeff, this house belongs to you. <laughs> so, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I declare this house open. Well, um, on behalf of uh, my wife and I, I want to say thank you so very much for this day. I want to thank you for your contribution. I want to thank you for everything. And all you old men, I know you have a hand in this. I know you have a hand in this. The house is beautiful, Dad. It looks like a cake. It looks like a wedding cake. <laughs> That's a nice one, Dad, you pulled on me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And God bless you. And please do not hesitate to visit at any time you wish, okay? 
You'll always be welcome. For all the mothers in the house, eh? I know very soon you'll be coming for Mugu. <laughs> Let's go inside and have some drinks. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm sure that's the one uh, Mama Teresa bought for you from Dubai, right? Yes, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And your father cursed you. Oh, no, no, no. There's no basis of comparison, okay? This is like um, pure 18 carat Italian gold, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like a dog chain. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a dog chain. This is a pure gentleman chain. I'm not playing. Mm -hmm. oh, this is pure 18 carat Italian gold. Are you sure it's up to six? No, it's not just 18 carat, six carat. It's, it's seven taekwondo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me listen. I think my baby wants to talk to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you hear? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, what did you hear? Uh, no. That's just between a father and daughter. Mm -hmm. She's talking to me. It's personal. What kind of name would you like to give her anyway? Huh? Yes, her. And what makes you think it's a girl? Well, because it's gonna be a girl. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, I want a baby boy that will be as curvy as my husband. And I want a baby girl that will be as loving as my wife. Mm-hmm. Mm a baby boy. A girl. Boy. Girl. Boy. Girl too. Boy. Girl. Boy. Girl. Girl. <laughs> girl too. Girl too. Hey, you shouldn't be playing rough. You're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to hurt my baby girl. I don't want to hurt my daughter, you know. Well, I don't want to hurt my son. No, your son is... He's, I'm sure it's going to be rough. Agbero, he should be under the bridge. <laughs> a baby girl is going to be an ajebo. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm serious. And who is the ajebo or ajebo Which one? Of course. I mean, isn't it obvious that I'm the ajebo here? Excuse me, that's a comfort because you're yellow or something. You're yellow too now. No, no. I know. I know where I met you. No, it's in the style. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not. It's in the style, girl. I'm not playing with you. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Come on. Okay, fine, 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 fine. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Why don't you let the man be a gentleman? Ah. Now. Let me step in. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. What? Oh, God. You see? You see? I told you. I told you. She said I shouldn't let you do anything. Really? Yeah, I'll go inside. If I could lift you out, I'd lift you into the car. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not strong enough to lift you. That's my Yeah, 
I'll give you a call, okay? <laughs> of course I knew you'd give me a call, but before then... Okay. I will. And you too, okay? Yeah. Well, I thought you were forgetting. Ah, uh, uh, never forget. How's your day coming up? I'm fine. I am fine. No problem. I am. And you? Fine, fine. Not bad. My MD just sent to me, sent in uh, a file to my desk about a uh, client's property review. But I'm gonna attend to that later when I return. Return from where? It's lunch time, baby. <laughs> yeah, the usual place. Mm -hmm. Mama J's. In 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Don't be late. I'm not playing with you this time, okay? <laughs> okay. And I'll be right there with you. Yes. Right there with you. games, play games like chess, uh, Monopoly, video games, and watch some good movies. Everything within these four walls. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. Cool. Of course I like it. Yeah, that reminds me. You were saying something about auditing yesterday, right? My, dear, my name was included in the auditing and inventory panel to our Shobo branch. Yeah. Why did they involve you? And it's a routine process. We work in team, you know. It was Franka's team that went to bad on the last time. So, how long would you be gone for this program? For three days. Three days? No, no, no. That, that, that's too much. That's not possible. It won't work. And then please, okay? Before you know it, I'll be back. To be over. Anita, don't even think about it. Don't, don't try begging over this one, because it won't work. How do you expect us to be away from each other for three whole days? In this condition of yours? No, no. It's just not wise. It's not proper. If you must go, if you must, if you must go, then I will travel with you. Please, Bottom line. Please listen to me, please. I'm listening. 
You know you'll be risking your job if you do this. I mean, your MD derives so much pleasure in issuing such letters, which you know very well. And it's not good for us. It's too much. Three days for us to be apart, it's too much. I'll miss you. you be set for this official duty? I will go on Tuesday and be back by Friday evening. Come to think of it, they are meant to give you an official car now. They did. That's the allowance I told you about. I collected the money for the accommodation and transport. I prefer driving it since I'm mobile. Okay. Still not happy that you're leaving. I need to make stance, please. We've talked about this before. Before you know it, I'll be back. Okay? Three days without you is like a whole millennium. Don't do that, please. Don't, don't drop those stairs. You'll be throwing arrows to my heart. Come on, sis. Please. Togetherness, I want to assure you that we will always be together no matter what. Talk to the chain and I'll hear you. Okay? I love you. I love you. I love you very much. Now leave before I change my mind. <laughs> and make sure you do not overexert yourself, I okay?
And the worst of it all is that I didn't even see my wife's body and that of my baby. Jeff, it's all right. Huh? God knows why. God. God. Did I hear you say God? God knows how much I love my wife and he let this happen to me. God. Why do you talk like this? Huh? Who are we to question God? See, Jeff. A lot of people have passed through your present condition. You have to take it easy. So that you live and tell the story. Look at your parents. And it's a why. So this is not what you promised me now. I felt it, I felt it. I knew something was going to go wrong. God, I shouldn't have let her go. I should have discouraged her. Jeff, you talk as if one knows when death knocks. That I said I felt it. I felt it. I just could not interpret it. I felt it. Oh God, why? So why? It's okay, my son. It's okay. It's okay, my son. Hey! Oh! From dust she came, and to the dust she has returned. One important lesson we should all learn from Anita's death is that each and every one of us at every point in time should be prepared for this inevitable home call. It could be the turn of any of us tomorrow. For us who are still alive, the most important thing and the thing that matters most is the kind of life we live. Our relationship with God, our Creator, and our fellow human beings, for that determines where we go after death, whether to heaven or to hell. For everything under the sun, there is time, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to rejoice and a time to mourn, just like we are doing now. But the Bible tells us that even in death, there is hope for the righteous. Because they are merely sleeping in the Lord, are waiting for the glorious day of resurrection. Brethren, let us be comforted with this one fact that we can still meet to part no more with our loved ones. So, may the soul of Aneta and those of all that departed faithfuls, through the mercy of God, rest in perfect peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I now call on the husband of our late sister to come and pay her his last respect Brother Jeff.
you left with our unborn child. And he left me just like that. This isn't the love we promised. This isn't the love we promised Anita. I'm already dead. Do I still live in this lonely world? Without you, I'm lost. Without you, I'm finished. I will always adore you, my queen. I will always cherish you, my queen. Even in death. Rest in peace. Anita, I saw you, I saw you. Anita. Please. Please. 
show yourself to me again, please. Please. Please, show yourself to me again, please. Anita. Anita, please. Those were mere imagination, and as long as you continue to think about her, she will keep appearing to you. That's the truth. My son, the obvious fact you should have in mind is that Anita is dead and gone forever. Breathe your mind to living without her. All those things must come to pass. That's if she's truly dead. I have this very strong belief that she's still alive. Then where is she? If you feel she survived in a car that burnt completely, tell me where is she? That's what I have to find out, Dad. It's okay. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Anita, my daughter-in-law, is dead. All we owe her is to pray so that her gentle soul may rest in perfect peace. Look at you, Jeff. Just look at you. You are going down and down every day, looking rough and unkept. Do you want to die and follow her? No one seems to understand me. Hey, Jeff, my boy. Take it easy. With time, you will forget about her. And life goes on. Yes. My wife is not dead. She leaves. And no one wants to believe me. What kind of love is this? My son is going mad. Darling, would you stop him? What else do you expect me to do <laughs> other than giving him advice? <laughs> huh? Hey! Anita! Anita, why must you do this to him? Anita! Concentrate on your work. The thoughts of her wouldn't let me concentrate, Martins. God, we were so compatible. You two can testify to that. Anita wasn't just my wife. She was my best friend. You see, you see, I know, I know, but you must try. You know you are the accountant of this company. <laughs> Thank God I went through your records yesterday before submitting it to the end. They were full of anomalies and unbalanced details. And of course, you know, that could have resulted to a query.
My work was full of mistakes. See, that's in the past. Okay, but now I just want you to put yourself together. You just have to try. See, there are worse things that can happen to a man. Oh, not again. Oh, oh stop that. You're breaking my heart. Don't do this. What are you doing to yourself? Most times, it's good to play safe. What do I do? What do I do, Martins? I mean, she appears to me almost four times in a day. The best option here is to relocate. Yes, pack your things and move down east. Start life all over again. What about my work? Oh, come on. With your master's degree, you can get a job in any of those banks in Enugu. See, it's, it's the best option, believe me. Instead of staying here, anything can happen. True, she was your wife, no doubt about that. But my brother, now she's a spirit. Yeah, you have a point. What makes you believe that you wouldn't follow me down to the east? Nah. All these are happening because you're still in this town. Once you're out of this town, case closed. Finish. She won't follow you, believe me. Relax, man. <laughs> today as a matter of fact I just got back. Yeah I just came back from the office. Yeah. No 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 please no you can't come. I I, I mean I mean don't don't come don't come there's there's no need for you to come yeah yeah well uh 
uh, because I have some friends here who came from a long distance to pay me condolence visit. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, so how's that? Alright, just tell them I'm alright, okay? Yeah. Mom, 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 L listen, I really must leave, I, I, I really must have... Mom, I must leave now, I, I, I have to go, okay? I have to go um, see the, those friends of mine, you know? Yeah, bye. So why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? As if I have a hand in your in your death. Why are you doing this to me? I'm only showing you love, care, and affection, and everything. Only for the cold hand of death. Oh my God! Okay, please. Just. You want to tell me something? I know this. Why don't you just come out and show it to me? Tell me what it is. What it is. Just. Okay, just appear to me. Just once. Let me see your beautiful face again. 
You know how much I love and I care for you. Don't do this to me. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I can't take it anymore. Sack letter. The decision was taken at the board meeting. It's a pity. No, sir, no. Sir, please, you can't do this to me. You, you can't do this to me. Eh? Sir, I, I, they, they, they accused me falsely. I'm, I'm not mentally deranged. I am not mad. Sir, please, you, you have to please help me talk to them. You have to be able to help me talk to them. It's very important that you can do this for me. God knows I can't lose my job. Even you know I can't lose my job. Not now. The reasons against you were so much, so strong. See, and your present condition has cost the company so much. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? What have I done? First, my wife died. It's a pity. Now I'm losing my job. It's unfortunate.
Dad, I don't know if you can tell me about the mystery behind this, because I can't seem to understand. Ever since my wife died, it's been tormenting and appearing, appearing to me. It's really disturbing, it's, and it usually comes in threes. <laughs> it's mere imagination. No, Dad, it's not. Excuse me. This looks like an idol symbol in a particular village near Oshubo. And they worship it. Idol? Yes. Each house in that village has a drawing of this by their door. So, Dad, what, what is the name of this village? Usunta. Yes, Usunta. Usunta. Oh my God. That's the village my wife had the accident. That's the village she died. Oh God. I don't believe this. Oh God. I think she's trying to tell me something. I think she wants to tell. I really have to go and look for her. I really have to go and find her. Go where, Jeff? To find my wife. No, Jeff. No. You can't go there. You can't, please. Why? I still have more information to give you about it. Please. Jeff, you go nowhere. Why have you decided not to allow Anita soul to rest in peace? Every time you talk Anita this, Anita that. Just look at yourself. Jobless and confused. You just don't understand. You just don't understand. I and Anita, we share so much in common. We felt each other's pain. Even in death, it is still difficult for us to be apart. I really must look for her. I, I must find her. Not while I'm still alive. I don't wish to bury my son. Jeff. Listen to your mother. You just don't understand. You just don't understand what I'm going through. We shall die together, if that's what it takes. If that's what it takes, Anita.
never knew love could have so much pain until you departed. In a lonely desert, in the cold, you rest your bones in the arms of death. I just could not picture or imagine Imagine you in that fire, struggling until it snuffed the life out of you. It must have been really painful. I'm sorry, Anita. I'm so sorry. I know you want to tell me something. I can feel it in my heart. Now I'm here, and I'm determined to know what that thing is. So where are you now? So long. Right. Anita. Anita? 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 Anita, I know you can hear me. Anita? Anita!
Anita! She's not dead. She's alive. understand what you're saying, please. I, I only understand English. Do you understand English? Yes, yes, me, yes. Oh, thank God. Uh, please, give, give her this for the pictures for me. Please just give her the pictures. Uh, tell her she's, she's my wife. She had an accident somewhere around here in the village or somewhere further down. Uh, and she, 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 but, but I'm sure she's not dead. Tell her. Salama tulo maku ala sopa miki sapa Say, what did she say, please? Uh, what did she say, please? Uh, what did she say, please? Um, wife. A uh, pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was pregnant, yes. She, yeah, she was pregnant. Fire, fire, uh, baby. Yeah, baby. Baby. She, she, she had a baby? Yeah, baby. yes. Yeah, that's good. So, 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 where, so uh, where is my wife? Where is she? A uh, pressure. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, she was pressure, pressure, yeah, she was fire, fire, 
ฟาหยาดได้I told you my wife is not yet dead, didn't I? And where is she, my son? She's here. Look at her. She was rescued from the fire. But she died giving birth to the baby premature due to the pressure she sustained. Oh my God! Oh my God. 
So now, five times five? Twenty-five. Good! And daddy, hmm? twenty-five times five is one, two, five. Wonderful! Well, that means my daughter has been doing her homework now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good girl. But daddy, yeah? do you know that one plus one is equal to one? Um... <laughs> Well, uh, maybe you should explain your logic. Dad, hmm? you and I are one. <sighs> of course we are. Oh. <gasps> 